Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching. Today's video is just a couple small logs and the first one you can see, it's kind of gnarly. It's not exactly a straight log, but that's all right. We're gonna turn that into some two by six and then we've got one more that we'll pull up on the deck and turn that into two by six as well. So let's get right into it. The first thing you can see with this log, of course, is it took a little bit to get it rolled around on the deck and I'm just looking for stress, kind of get an idea of where it's at. Then I lifted one end up with the tow board rollers and away we go. Take the cap cut off. After getting that first side cut, of course, then we just roll her up 90 degrees. And as I've said before, this is really the best way to start building your cant. You get the next cut out, you're going to get her down to where you've got a nice 90 degree face. And that's always key to better production. If you're wasting time rolling the log around, it's not going to help you out. So we roll her 90 degrees and of course you'll notice the tow board rollers down. That's good. We don't want to leave those guys up. Come back at her again, get another cut out of it. After making that cut, you'll notice I roll it again right away. I took that one deep enough. I know the opening face I'm looking for on the cant. So I roll her over and now we're gonna take off the far end, which is kind of fat. And you'll notice we've got some wane there. Now, instead of taking a flitch cut to remove that wane, I rolled it 90 degrees and I take another cut. I'm working to a specific height. We took a flitch cut off the top. That's to get rid of some of that wing. Now I'm taking a two by out. Flip this one over, and of course this little guy wasn't rolling real well with the log roller or the or the log pump. So I just did it by hand. Knocked that one down, and honestly, we just kind of went bang, bang, done. Off the deck she goes. Now we're going to get another one up on the deck. You'll notice that I was lifting the head of the mill at the same time I was lifting the log. The control that lifts up the head is electric, not hydraulic, so I can actually run that at the same time I'm running the hydraulic. Now, there's something I want to point out right here, and that is that I moved the near and far end swing out bunks up under the log after raising the log. Now, you might ask yourself why I did that. And I'll tell you, you don't want those out when you load logs. Even small logs like this can cause damage to the deck. So what you do is you swing those guys out of the way when you don't need them, and then you roll your log up on the deck. And once it's up on the deck, then you can lift it up and swing those bunks out. You don't want to have them out all the way first and drop a log on them because they can actually cause damage to the deck. They'll pound away at the deck and can create a divot in the deck if you do that. So if you've got an LT40, maybe an LT35, with those swing out bunks, you want to have those swung out of the way, load the log, and then swing them back. All right, we're going to let this roll a little bit.
small logs don't always roll that well on the deck and that's when the log right sawmill special cant hook comes out it's just a little 32 inch cant hook that i use and you'll notice that in my videos i'm always using that cant hook and if you haven't checked it out this video is not sponsored by log right but i encourage you to go check log right's website out and check that little sawmill special i think it was actually designed by members of forestry forum it's a great little tool the big one that you see the big orange one that's a wood miser cant hook it's also actually made by log right so again i'm not sponsored by log right don't get that the wrong idea here <laughs> i just love Love their products, it's great stuff. getting back to it we're gonna get this guy knocked down get it off the deck once we get it set we've got the height set we'll take another flitch cut off we can edge that afterwards and I think if you watch my previous video I like to edge my flitches near the end before I finish the cant. If I'm making two by sixes full dimension, for example, I'll cut my cant down to four inches then edge those boards and then take the last two boards out. Now, I'll tell you, stay tuned to the channel. On Wednesday, another video drops. This one will be a little different. I'm going to talk about a new saw that I've got. I think you might find it interesting. Thanks for watching, everybody. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out. <laughs>